since we just took out the fridge, I would do more on our life deck. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And it comes with a template. It comes with some directions. Excuse a me? thank you card. I believe the batteries go with this. I believe it's a screwdriver. And here is the um, the, the brackets that go on the, the unit itself, like on the side of the doors. And here is the eyelash itself right here. And then this is the door uh, latch. As you can see, it comes with the two remotes, uh, two remote controls. Sky, you're getting yourself and twisted. of course it comes with the latch itself. This is the inside, that's the outside. Let's go install it. No. Can I help you? Yeah, I was gonna say, guys, comment below if you like math. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, Lexi's doing her math real quick. Uh, I think she's been on it since I got home about two hours ago. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have. Hey, whoever homeschools, go ahead and comment and let us know uh, what how what you use. Uh, but we'll get that we'll get into that in a different video. But let us know what homeschooling you're using, what books. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll share with ours in the next video. But let's move on. All right, we got all our tools here. So it looks like we're gonna need a Phillips. Put that there. So I'm going to go ahead and use their screwdriver that they provided, only because uh, I like using other people's tools. So this way I don't have to break that out, try to look for my drill bit. So let's go ahead and unscrew this one right there. Well, that's very, very very easy to unscrew. We're gonna keep this. Turn the mic around. So this is what we're gonna do. We'll pop this off like that. It's pretty much like a... So we are going to remove these screws. Oh yeah, that one's gonna need a drill. So I'm gonna get a drill bit because that was a little harder to get out, so I wanted to find the correct drill bit. We did that, so we're gonna unscrew this. So we might as well put the battery while we have the drill. I like how they give you the double A's. So, so many times we buy stuff and we're like, wish I had batteries. So okay, so now we got the batteries in here, right Lex? Whoa, they popped out. This guy, come lay down. All right, so we'll put this back on because I do not want to lose. So we put the batteries in, we want to make sure they're all in. And we're going to Put it in like that, and we have two little screws that go in there. Don't lose these screws. Just enough, and don't uh, I wouldn't strip them either, you know. Good. So that's all set. The batteries are in place, and uh, there's your lock. Let's pop this off, and let's get it going. So once you fit it through the hole. 
you're gonna wanna plug these in. And there's your signal receiver. So that's like an antenna. So that will just be floating. So let's walk over and um, let's walk over and we'll go ahead and install the, uh, the lock. You know, if you guys are familiar with a lock at home, a door lock, this is similar. You want to take over, Lexi? Sure. So I got the lock out. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put this all back together. Because I want to keep this for later, just in case something happens to my, um, my coated lock. So I'm gonna put the old lock in the box because I'll always keep this box. And now let's go ahead and try to install this one. I say try, you guys like that when I say try? Let's do this. Automatically I can tell it doesn't fit. Unless it goes in like that. No one said it was easy, right? doesn't help when it's beautiful in North Carolina. We're not used to this, huh, Richie? Mm -hmm. I want to get this antenna in here first. And I'll move that, shove that in there. All right, so it took some finagling, but I did it. I actually pushed it in. I made sure these two were free because I uh, I want to connect this piece to that piece right there. And it's there's only one way you can do it. You'll see this little edge right there. So we're going to connect it. Oh, I just heard the beep, 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 beep. And we're going to push that in there nice and even. Uh, what we want to do is start it off with a screw this way. We want to match the latch as well. So we're going to do that right Ready? now. Good. That's pretty much how it's gonna be right there. Okay, hold the other side, or screw that in. Or just hold the other side. Um, I can't do it, it's too heavy. Hang on, hold the door. What is this? So when this is locked, the good thing about this is, look how easy that is. So we do not want to get locked out, so we'll make sure this side works, and it does. Works nice. Hey, night. I'm gonna go inside for a second. So the good thing about this is it comes with an on, on and off switch. I was wondering what that was, the on and off switch. Well, the on and off switch means the fob. If you want your remote control to unlock your RV, you, you can keep it? it on. And if you don't, you just keep it just off. For a so. Just for a second, I need to grab her. Which is right here. And the poopy bags. And the you got the poopy bag, Lex? Because you're the pooper scooper, I heard. Yes, here you go. So you that's what that is, the on and off switch. Uh, is for your fob. So we're gonna leave it on for now, and then we're gonna code, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to um, use the code here. So this is really simple. Uh, install your new key, it comes with directions. Literally took me like five minutes to do, maybe not on the video, uh, but it literally took me five minutes to do. One thing you wanna make sure is do, don't forget to connect your wires on the inside there. And uh, turn your on and off switch when you don't wanna use your fob anymore. And then you go ahead and program your key, uh, your keypad. So they tell you actually to write it down. 
they recommend four to eight digits. Um, we have a four digit that we like using, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. To program it, it's press and hold the number eight for two seconds without releasing it. Press lock button, then release. You will hear a confirmation beep. You are now programming mode. Let's try it. Hold the number eight for two seconds, and then the lock button, then you'll hear a beep. Now we are ready. So we're gonna go ahead and key in our code. So there you have it, it's all set. So what we'll do now is we will hold the lock button. It's locked. So to unlock, you'll press your numbers and then hold the unlock and I'll do that now. It's unlocked. So what's cool about this is it has two fob keys or key fobs you would call it. And watch this. Just locked. It just unlocked. Two of these. Okay, so we finished the lock. We did the Wii Boost, the Wi-Fi mobile uh, extender. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on the two supports that go under this one right here. The reason why we're doing this one is because this is where we sit uh, on the couches and this is where the kids sit. So if uh, Sandy and I are sleeping and they get up early, they sit on the couch, we can actually feel the RV go up and down. It's no big deal, but if we could avoid a little bit of it, we're going to do it. And then the next one we're gonna put, the next two, is we're gonna put it over Richie's bunk. I don't know if you've seen Richie lately, he has sprouted. He's like five foot nine, so he's almost as tall as me, almost, by a half inch. He sleeps on the second bunk that slides out, so that right there, when he jumps up, we can actually feel him. So let's go ahead and unwrap the box. Let's go ahead and install him real quick, and we'll get this video wrapped up. All right, so this is what we got. It's an Ease Lift, E-A-Z Lift. Uh, it comes two per package. So it goes from 19 inches when you don't retract it all the way to 47 inches. So depending the height of your uh, slide out, uh, you would go ahead and adjust it to that height. We will need a knife to get rid of that right there, so. I'm interested to see how this actually works. Let's put that up here. Okay. So basically, it comes with the pins, so you'll raise it to a certain height, and then you'll go ahead and sh you know use that screw, uh, and you'll torque it up. So let's go ahead and open these real quick. Directions. It is called Ease Lift, E-A-Z Lift, Side out, Slide Out Supports. So put that here. Oh, that looks pretty easy. Look how nice and neat that is, Richie. Look how neat. So one of these, ooh, pretty heavy duty too. So this is what I was talking about, how you just lift it, and then you'll go ahead and, and screw it how you want it. So basically it's, it's like this, so. Let's go ahead and install one. Actually, let's bring both of them with us. Boy, I thought I was gonna have to put all this together. This is pretty cool. Let's go, let's go do that real quick. So obviously this may not work if you are on grass. Uh, so I would just go ahead and put a piece of wood under like you do under your tire or your Legos uh, and put it under here. So this way, if it sinks, it sinks a little and you can adjust it. But since we're on concrete, we're gonna go ahead and, and go ahead and use this. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna climb under here. We've been under here a lot, so we know. I'm going to put one here. So put that right there. And you wanna make sure you do not mess with your gears here, so. Like that, nice and even. And we'll go ahead and turn this. Like everything else, once you get the hang of it, you know, it goes by quicker. Whoa, there we go. 
and I could feel it already tightening. So that's where you would use this. And you go, oh yeah, I bet you that will make a huge difference. That's gonna look good. That's gonna feel good too. When you walk, I won't even be able to feel it. See, the slide outs are out and those two are installed. They look great too. It looks like they even belong with the unit. So we're gonna get that package out and do the other side right now. Very excited by being in North Carolina. We try to invite as many people as we can around us to just to be be with us and have some fun. And But uh, this time around, my friends from Michigan are gonna be here. They come down to uh, visit and we're gonna have some steak, we're gonna have some vegetables and rice and we're gonna just enjoy each other and have fun and just talk about the good times. So. But hey, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Just a reminder to hit that bell to get notified in future videos and go a step further and hit that like button. Because this does not have bars coming across, this is actually a different kind of slide out. Don't know what it's called. It does not have the bars. It actually has these right here. Because it does not have that, I'm going to use two Legos and I'm going to put it like that Similar to that, just like that. This way, um, this way, I'm not digging these two. Or you could use a board if you have a board yourself. You could use a piece of wood too. I just have Legos. I usually would like to put it here, but I have no concrete that far back or out. So I'm going to put it as close as I can. And you can see, that's it. Look at that. Let's go to the other one real quick right here. And now that it's snug, I'm going to tighten it. And I could just hear it. That's it. Yes, we did it. Let's Especially get out of here. We're staying here for a while. Well, that's what, that's what I, hold on. Oh. Because I wouldn't set it up every time. So that's what I told everybody. I said, listen, we are staying here. This is ideal for full-time RVers. We may not be full-time, full-time RVers, but we are full-time, part-time RVers. That means we're closing on our house in less than two months. So we, are, we needed a place to stay, so we're staying in an RV resort. Anything that I can do to make our stay more comfortable with Sandy, Alexis, and Richie, we're gonna do if it's affordable. And so far we did three things. We did the support bars for the slide outs. We did the Wii Boost for the mobile. And, and we did the automatic door lock. This way, I don't know if you ever come into a situation where everybody's waiting for one person to unlock the door and everybody has to use the bathroom. This way, and they're scrambling for the keys and which lock, which key goes in which lock. So, instead we just put our code and we're done. I wanna send a special thanks to everyone out there that watches our videos and that supports our channel. Thank you very much, we really appreciate it. The T-Squad appreciates it and thank you for being part of the T-Squad family. I also wanna say if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and go a step further and hit that bell and get notified for future videos hey thanks again everyone we will catch you in the next video